When was the last time you bragged about your calculator app? Probably never. Well, today I wore my glasses because it's gonna get nerdy. Hey guys, Lucas Acosta here with Fuji. Uh, before we get into it, I just wanted to say thank you um, and I've really enjoyed all the comments and the chatter between the Evernote and Apple Notes episodes. Uh, it was really cool just getting the feedback from you guys. I think the clear winner um, on the Android side of things is Google Keep, uh, which I downloaded and tried out. I'm still loving Apple Notes, but Google Keep is a good notes app to check out um, if you are on the Android side. Um, so yeah, just thank you for uh, commenting, for following along and subscribing. And if this is the first time you're watching, we'd love to have you along. This channel is made for you. Um, we here at Fuji are working with our clients every single hour of every single day um, as an IT organization, mostly with Apple products. And we set up this channel so that we can share all of the best tools and techniques uh, that we've created and that we come across in the field. So we hope you guys uh, like this episode. Hit like if you're going to like it, which is going to be a pretty good one. Um, and please subscribe. And um, here we go. Okay, so is this going to be complicated? I mean, look who you're talking to. Um, if you haven't been able to tell by now, I like simple, I like quick, I like to cut to the chase. Um, and this app is, yes, it's a calculator app. It's as simple as you want it to be, but man, it just gets so much better from there. There are as many calculator apps in the app store as there are like fabric blends of socks. And I've tried a lot of them. Um, in fact, just the other day, I spent three bucks on an app because of its cool animations and sound effects. Why? I couldn't tell you, but after six years, I keep coming back to this one app. Before I get into the app, you all know that you can do quick calculations right there on your Mac um, or on your iPhone with Spotlight. You can just hit command spacebar, super quick keyboard shortcut, um, and right there in the search bar, you can do algebraic equations. I use it all the time for quick stuff. Of course, if you have like Alfred or Launch Bar, uh, some of those utilities that can do, uh, those can do similar things. Um, and that takes care of quick calculations that I do throughout, you know, the day. Um, and then on the other side of the spectrum, we've also got like spreadsheets. You know, when you gotta really roll up your sleeves um, and build out a spreadsheet, you know, you can do that too. But turns out there are a lot more calculations and just things to look up, whether you're like traveling for vacation, um, work, doing expenses, even quoting out projects for clients. Until I found Solver, I didn't really have a great app for most of my calculations. Now I'm showing this to everyone, whether it's my clients, whenever I, uh, I'm doing some quick calculations for them, or even contractors, when they're proposing things to me, I tell them like, look, you gotta get this app. So based on our clients and peers that have bought it, I think it's worth taking a look. Here are my favorite things about Solver. All right, the first feature is that you can edit your calculations. So you can go back into your expression and just, you know, play with the numbers. And when you're brainstorming and you just wanna go back and edit some things, if your app doesn't have this feature, like it's a non-starter. You don't wanna have to keep recreating your whole equation over and over again. The second is that it lets you save all of your calculation sheets. And I can't tell you how valuable this is when you're shopping for a car or vacations uh, or just quoting something out. To be able to, to scroll through and go back to a previous calculation is amazing. Like this in itself is amazing. They're all saved to go back forever. I don't know, I love it. And, and I'm not even a nerd. Yeah, yeah, maybe I am. Okay, for number three, Solver can parse human language from your actual numbers. And this is awesome, um, especially when we've all been there, like you're making a little calculation and you know what the calculation means, but then you show it to someone else and they're like, can you please explain this list of calculations to me? Um, or like when you're going to Home Depot and you wanna calculate cans of paint and supplies, you can just pop in your labels right there alongside the price of each. Um, and it just helps it make sense, not just for you when you refer back to that calculation, but especially if you share it with someone, which is one of my next bullets. All right, fourth is that this app can absolutely handle algebraic expressions and even more. So if you wanna tap back into your middle school algebra class, 
because I know we all do. This app can absolutely handle it. Now, my mathematical skills start to taper off right around there. I forgot most of my calculus the day after I took that final. But this app does get a lot more complex if you want it, but the very minimum, the algebraic tools really come in handy especially when you want to set variables um, in your equations, then you can refer back to those variables um, in other equations. So you could actually say this is this is where it starts to become like a spreadsheet. Um, and yeah, it is kind of like a spreadsheet without the cells. Okay, earlier I was talking about how you can save all of your files. Well, the next step to that is being able to sync um, all of your calculation sheets. So of course, Solver syncs all of your sheets through iCloud. So you've got all those calculations that you started on your iPhone readily available on your iPad and even your Mac. You do have to buy the Mac app separately, um, but the iPhone and iPad app are the same purchase in the app store. So that just, I don't know, it's, it's the cherry on top right there. Lastly, when you've created that masterpiece, you oftentimes need to share it with someone. And built into Solver, uh, you can either, you know, just text the, the, the raw text or you can create a stylized email. And what it does is put your calculations into a nice clean table that you can see on anyone else's device. They don't have to have Solver in order to see that. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you have any other calculator apps to challenge mine? Uh, I would love to see them. Let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, we'd love to help out as well. Um, the Mac version runs 11.95, and for iOS, which again will work on your iPhone and iPad, it's only 2.99. So it's an awesome app. I've been using it for six years now, um, and uh, I'm using it every single day. So if you like this video, please like it. Would love to have you uh, follow along. So subscribe and be sure to hit the bell so you get notified every single time we come out with a new episode, which is every single week. And we will see you guys next week.